Okay, here's a comparison. Okay, here's a comparison, original factory hitch and my high clearance custom hitch. So the factory hitch is down here. Uh, I've got it on these jack stands, but I've got it pressed up against the frame. So this really, and the holes are lined up. So this is exactly where it goes, factory. And here's the one I've done uh, where I'll be welding it in. Um, so let's get the tape measure here and see how much ground clearance we we got. So from the bottom of this hitch to the bottom of this one, we gained over five inches, about five and a quarter inches, it looks like. In addition to that, mine's a little bit closer to the body too, by about an uh, inch and uh, inch and a half here. So my departure angle is significantly improved. We're going to get it welded up and get the high clearance, like the closer bumper, mounted on here too with a cutout for the new hitch. There it is, all welded in the place and do the bumper. Okay, there we go. We got all the holes cut for the back of the sensors. Yeah, there it is. Got the shape cut out. Not the prettiest, but uh, not bad either. Have our hitch here. We've got our seven pin and four pin. Come along. Okay, 
set up a special sensor that matches the cutout. Uh, each sensor has a unique shape to it that uh, needs to align with these special markings on the bumper. Okay, here's the finished bumper. We got it all set up with the rear parking sensors put in, the tow harness, a high clearance hitch integrated up behind the bumper, welded to the frame. And now we've got significantly more ground clearance, whereas before we had a spare tire that hung way down here and a hitch that was below uh, the tow bumper, which is even larger than this one. And so we gained quite a bit of ground clearance and it just feels so much lighter and tighter, uh, which will be really nice.